This is my husband. Well, he wasn't my husband in this moment just yet. He had just proposed to me in this small Thai restaurant on the outskirts of LA. He was a cyber love letter, a man, well, boy, who would stay up for hours talking to me through a laptop into the early hours of the morning. How did he become my husband? Well, let me rewind. This story begins with MySpace. The Goo Goo Dolls at the time were my favorite band. So much so, I stumbled across my future husband's profile when I noticed he too had the Goo Goo Dolls listed under his profile music tab. Curiously and randomly, I messaged this boy to tell him how much I love the Goo Goo Dolls. But from that one message, we'd begin something we never thought would change our lives the way it did, as we found we had more in common than we thought. From those messages came emails, from those emails came Skype, where we verified we were indeed who we said we were. Challenge. Distance. Three years passed, but how could you love someone so far away? We had to find out. There was no denying it. We were madly in love. We spent all our time together. We drove together. We flew together. We rode together. We made daring decisions together. What came next, you might ask? Well, it was the wedding. The most beautiful wedding I could have ever, ever dreamed of. Seven years onwards, and I won't lie, we still fight, we pick, we moan, but we accept our differences. And while our love story isn't common, it's ours. If there is something I've learned about love, it is that distance makes the heart grow fonder. And that is the story of how I met my husband on MySpace.